Before you get all excited about the new Hot Wheels Elite 64 announcement and future release, don't buy into it. Or at least don't buy into it until after watching this video. In this video, I'll be explaining maybe probably why this is one to maybe skip over. Let's break this down and see what it's all about starting right now. So depending on when you watch this video, Hot Wheels announced the Elite 64 series a couple of months back and just recently they were able to showcase some in-hand product examples and even talk about some of the details and pricing. These will be available through Mattel Creations website. They won't be sold in stores or anything like that. However, you will have to deal with people buying them online and then once they're all sold out, they're going to be sold out. So you don't have to join the Red Line Club or anything like that. It'll just be through Mattel Creations website. These are going to be carded in its typical clamshell with a cardboard backing. I do love Hot Wheels effort to make the card look really nice with the artwork and the car. Pricing for this unit has been estimated to be about $20. Not finalized yet, but it was mentioned. So something of a higher price point, something we're not used to seeing when it comes to Hot Wheels. I understand that there are more expensive Hot Wheels out there, but for something that is just out of the gate, for it to be this expensive definitely puts them in a different price bracket. So some quick details about the chaser jzx 100 it looks like it's got a white or pearl white paint finish it's got some aftermarket bits such as the wheel the front bumper it's got some sponsorship decals on there and not only that it also has plastic inserts for the headlights and tail lights if you want to call it that so all in all a hot wheels cast with some souped up parts much like our collector grade counterpart but here's where i have a problem with it and here the tail lights look like a solid red. There's no detail to it. The headlights, you've got a plastic cover over it with a dot. No really high details there at all. The casting looks like your typical Hot Wheels casting, metal body, but with some details on an aftermarket set of tires and wheels. It's got some canards attached to the front bumper. It's got a front mount intercooler with really subpar details. And at the end of the day, you're gonna be paying $20 at minimum for something like this, not to exclude the scalpers price you're gonna be paying for a little bit more, if not the same or less. Even for the JZX100 that Tarmac Works actually recently released, you can get these for less than $20 for higher detail, higher quality, better packaging, and in a variety of different flavors. Even Tarmac Works has their own little bit of QC issues and I can say that the Tarmac Works product line of chasers far outbeat the Elite 64 line. You don't have to fight people online for them. Once you get them, you're good. You can pre-order from websites such as Model Cars Houston and you're good to go. I mean, think about it guys. If Mini GT made something like this, they would blow this out of the water. We already know Mini GT does suffer from a little bit of QC issues, but even if they did have the QC issues, I think it would be far better than the ones that we're seeing with the Elite 64 series. And if Inno 64 gets a hold of this cast, which might only be a matter of time, it's gonna be game over. This just looks like another one of Hot Wheels attempts to dip into your pockets, pull some money out of you guys, go for the cash grab. In my opinion, this does not look very elite at all. Since they are dipping their toes into a little bit of the collector grade type of thing, I think they still have a long way to go before they catch up to the stuff that we are used to. So save your money, get something with higher detail, don't fall for the FOMO, and let's see what happens with this in the future. So question of the day, what do you think about the Elite 64? Do you think it's gonna be worth your money? Now, avid Hot Wheels collectors, you guys probably will go for it, and that's absolutely fine. However, for the ones that are in the collector grade world, it's almost like we've been spoiled with all the goodness of collector grade. But let us know down in the comment section below and let's all talk about it. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out a video I did in the next slide where I talk about why I left Hot Wheels. Maybe some of those reasons align with you guys, but go check it out there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Doesn't matter what